Welcome to Cloud Accounting Basics for Business Owners. My name is Heather Smith and I'm the author of Zero for Dummies and a Zero Expert based in Brisbane. We're going to cover the basics of cloud accounting and introduce Zero. Let's get started. One of the first questions people ask me when I talk to them about cloud accounting is, what is the cloud? Essentially, the cloud enables you to access software as a service, commonly referred to as SaaS, over the internet. So you're no longer buying software disks in a box and installing them on your computer. You are subscribing to the service on a monthly or annual basis over the internet. If you're accessing the internet using a smartphone, laptop, iPad, iPhone or Android device, you may already be using a cloud service. Think of Gmail. Hotmail, Yahoo, Google Apps, Skype, Dropbox, Evernote. These are all cloud services you can subscribe to. The next question people ask me about cloud accounting is, how safe is the cloud? My standard response is, if you are using and accessing online banking, which is real money, then you should be perfectly happy to consider using a cloud accounting solution. A common question is around data storage. According to Xero's privacy policy, your Xero information is stored on servers located in the US, primarily housed by a business called Rackspace Incorporated. Rackspace complies with international standards for the protection of personal data. When it comes to data security, Xero uses encrypted technology similar to a bank to protect your information. I'm going to quickly run through the benefits of cloud accounting and the concerns of cloud accounting. So as the business owner, you too can make an informed decision and move ahead on your zero journey. With cloud accounting solutions, you are able to access precise real-time information. As a business owner, you can use that information to manage your business. With zero, you'll have reduced costs. You can save money on hardware infrastructure, such as servers, and in turn, floor space and insurance costs are minimized. You'll achieve productivity gains. Xero integrates with numerous other financial and operational cloud solutions. Xero can be accessed on an internet browser or smartphone device, so you can be waiting in a queue and reconciling your accounts or follow up with clients. This means as the business owner, you can travel while staying connected with the business information. As you are accessing Xero online, it does not matter if you are using a Macintosh or personal computer. One of my favorite benefits is collaboration. Xero allows multiple users to be logged on from anywhere they can access the internet. This means you, the business owner, can be looking at the same files and discussing what needs to be done with your accountant or business advisor. With Xero, you don't need to install periodic software updates on your computer. They happen automatically. Concerns about cloud accounting solutions. Alongside the many benefits of using Xero as a cloud accounting solution, there are also some things that may concern you. To access Xero, you need access to the internet. There is no offline option. However, automated processes like bank feeds still happen within Xero, even if you can't access Xero via the internet. So Xero is working hard for you while you sleep. With respect to internet speed, your internet speed may affect your productivity using Xero. You may consider reviewing your internet provider service plan to ensure your access speed is optimal. You also should ensure a robust business network is set up for your integrated cloud requirements. Apply common sense when inviting users to access Xero. There are various different access levels. Ensure appropriate access is issued and only assigned to people you trust. Provide access to a person rather than an entity and make sure people don't share passwords. Review and remove Xero user access when someone leaves their position. It's also worth noting Xero automatically logs you out after a short amount of inactivity. So I hope I've answered many of your questions about the benefits and concerns of moving to the cloud. 